Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Allison if you are new here and today I am sharing a complete garage transformation makeover. We are decluttering, we are organizing, we are cleaning, and we are turning this garage that was kind of a hodgepodge mismatch of disorganization and a bunch of random junk absolutely everywhere into the garage of our dreams. So right now I'm giving you all of the before shots of what our garage looks like. It is messy, it is dusty, it is dirty, and there is no rhyme or reason to this. So we have a couple main uses of this space. My husband Christian is really into woodworking, so he uses a lot of this space to hold all of his tools. He has workbenches, he has lots of little itty bitty screws and all kinds of things that need to be organized. And besides these big workbenches, he has no organization for that. So he's actually building a fun organization piece that'll attach to this wall that you guys will see the process of in this video. We also use this space as a home gym. So in this video, you'll see all of the extra fun things we picked up to turn this space into a really enjoyable place to work out. I think this video is gonna be one of my most satisfying videos because it is such a drastic before and after because as you can see, all of this stuff out on the workbenches is finally gonna have a place to go and be organized and it's gonna be a dream. So I will take you guys along on this entire process. It took us over two weeks to take care of this whole process, but I definitely think it was worth it. So make sure you stick around to the very end to see the after shots of what we turned this space into. The same way I start the majority of my organizing projects is to just declutter the space take everything that's overwhelming the space or disorganized and move it into a different pile somewhere else so you have a fresh slate to work with. Or is it a clean slate? A clean slate to work with. So Christian was helping me through a lot of this video, so you'll probably see a lot of him in this video, which is not normal. He normally doesn't come in front of the camera that often, but he agreed to for his baby, his garage. The main point of today, or day one of this video, was just clean the space. Have a clean space to work with, make it easier to think because it's hard to think when everything is super cluttered, especially when Christian was going to be building some organization pieces, he needed his workbenches to be cleaned up and free. But like I was saying, the main point of today was to just get settled for this video and have a fresh start to set us up for success. So we cleared off the workbenches, vacuumed up a bunch of sawdust, and once that was taken care of, we moved on to all of the recycles and all of the boxes that piled up in this garage. In order to fit these all into our recycle bin, Christian actually ended up grabbing a saw and cutting things down because they were such awkward shapes and large boxes. And guys, let me tell you, just clearing out boxes does wonders to your space. Moving on to day two. So step one of this process was for us to hang a piece of plywood and Christian to screw it directly into the walls. So after we finished cleaning up the garage the other day, we drove to Lowe's and bought some extra supplies to be able to build all of these things. So here Christian was taking a screwdriver, making sure it's level and drilling it straight into some studs in the wall. Again. 
It did take him quite some time to build everything else, so I am gonna jump forward a bit. And here you can see there are already planks now attached to this wall. So we used another piece of plywood to make these thin little strips and they're cut at a 45 degree angle so different organization bins can slide on and off of them. And we also got a new table saw. Christian found this one on super, super clearance at Lowe's, so we brought it home with us. And then he actually sold his old table saw to kind of cover the cost of it. These are the organization things I was talking about, but hold on, Bucky was looking super cute, so I'm gonna show you guys him a bit. He was here for this whole process. He loves hanging out on the gym mats while we're working in here, and it's kind of awkward when we're trying to work out because he wants to be on the gym mats where we have to be. But back to the organizing, this is the first thing Christian built and it's a drill holster. So all those little cubbies at the bottom are perfectly sized for Christian to slide drills in and out of and to hold them all. And then it also has two shelves. He's gonna end up putting the batteries for all of the drills and the chargers on the top one. And then some of his most used screws on the middle shelf. So this is probably the most functional thing he built for this. And it looks super cool, I think. Now by day five, we've kind of taken a couple steps backwards. Christian built some more things to hold some screwdrivers and other little shelves for the wall, but it mostly got a little bit more chaotic. But tonight we're kind of not focusing on the workbenches. We'll get back to those in a little bit, but tonight is all about building out our home gym. So Christian actually found this TV on Facebook Marketplace for like less than $100, I wanna say. So he picked that up from some guy's house one night, and then he also ordered a wall mount from Amazon that was like 20 bucks. So still not the cheapest thing, but it's a great way for us to play music during our workouts or I do a lot of YouTube video workouts so we can have that out there and he also loves it because it's a way for him to watch football while he's working on all of his woodworking projects so that was going to go up today and I also wanted to put together this metal frame shelf thing it used to be in the pantry of our old apartment in Virginia and you can see Bucky's thoroughly enjoying his gym dog life We also were hanging up a whiteboard that I had picked up from Walmart for $15. I love this thing. I will find little workouts online if I'm not doing a YouTube workout. So I'll go and like find a Whitney Simmons video. I'll write down the workout onto this whiteboard and it's just so motivating to go through it and like cross it off as you go through the workout. So I love having this hung up on the wall, but you'll see in a little bit, it was kind of a struggle.
Now that the TV was up, I started marking off where I wanted the whiteboard to go with a piece of tape so I could make sure it was level. I love using this trick if you have to drill anything into the wall because you can mark it perfectly and space things out great. It's just a great tool to use. And you'll actually see I was trying to drill some pilot holes into the wall, but we ended up hitting studs every single time. We have since invested in a stud finder to not do this anymore, but I drilled three holes into this wall before we were just like, okay, grab some command hooks. We're not gonna just screw this into the wall. Now we had everything hung up and it was time to do the little finishing touches on the gym. I like to use this metal rack to organize all of our little doodads. So this white bin is from Ikea and I'm moving all of my resistance bands, my lifting gloves, any workout sliders, all of that. And I like that it has a lid to protect it from all of the sawdust. I also moved our barbell pad, the remotes for the TV, and then some of my lighter weights ended up over here. And I'm sorry if it's gonna bug you the whole video, but this floor, once it got a little dusty, the dust just clings to it and it's really hard to get clean. It is pretty clean, it just looks really marked up, but I am dusting it all off with this like little $5 mop I grabbed at Walmart. Jumping to day nine, we're moving back to the side of the workbenches. Christian had built a couple little shelves and stacks of shelves while I was cleaning inside, and now it was time to finally organize things a little more. Yes, it's gotten a little bit more cluttered, but I promise it is gonna be worth it. We make more progress. It's kind of like one step back, two steps forward in this video. This stacking shelves he built to organize his sander and all of his little sanding grit pads, whatever they're called. So the sander rests on top and then all of the shelves are for organizing different grits of sandpaper beneath it. And the last thing he built today was a holder for his circular saw. We're now two weeks into this project, and on this day, I was motivated to tackle this corner of the garage. This was the most cluttered and disorganized space, I think. So first, I wanted to clear out a bunch of scrap wood that was just cluttering the space back up again. You'll find her beauty goes much deeper once you get to meet her. She's a Mona Lisa. So the garage already comes with these built-ins, and this is kind of where Christian was keeping all of his car detailing supplies, some more tools, our paint supplies, just tons of random stuff, but there was no organization to these shelves. So that is what I'm starting with. I'm naming each shelf for a certain purpose. One shelf will be all car detailing supplies, one shelf will be all painting supplies, one shelf will be all of his rags and sponges. You get the picture.
side. While I was going through all of these shelves, I was pulling out things that I knew we could donate or get rid of or try to sell, and I had a pretty decent pile at the end of this, and anything that was trash I was just tossing over into the big cardboard box where we put all of our trash in the garage, so I actually decluttered quite a bit from this, but since this project was so overwhelming, I didn't focus too much on the decluttering, like having a nice big pile to show you guys at the end of the video, so sadly there's not like a super satisfying shot of everything leaving this space, but just believe me, trust in me, these shelves alone had so much stuff that we no longer needed or was just trash in the way. Also, since this project was going on for so long, I did miss filming a couple of things Christian did in this space. So you may notice that the bike is now hanging on the wall. I ended up ordering some hooks from Amazon. If you wait till the very end of the video, I'll give you a much closer look at how we're hanging it off the wall, but it's a super cheap, inexpensive way to hang anything. It's just a like giant hook that goes into the wall and can hold bikes. I think it can actually hold up to 50 or 75 pounds. So that is why the bike is now off the floor. Now what I am doing completely out of frame is drilling some pilot holes to hang another organization thing on the wall. I'm sure a lot of you guys are familiar with this little gadget and it's just a broom and mop holder. Basically it'll pick them up off the floor and keep them flush against the wall for you. Okay, it is the next day, and today will be the last day of this video. We're gonna get this whole garage pulled together, and we're gonna get to the after tour so you can see the crazy before and after that's happening in here. So I have a few more things to organize. Christian finally built the table saw yesterday, so the workbench is cleared up a lot. So I'm gonna tidy up a bit, do some last minute things. There's a toolbox over there full of stuff that needs to be gone through, and then we're gonna do something with this giant pile of stuff over here. So the last few things in here are just some last minute organization and then cleaning because there is sawdust everywhere, as you can imagine. I guess I forgot to explain to you guys this whole table saw saga. So I did mention that Christian sold his old one and bought a new one on clearance at Lowe's. Well, that table saw actually broke. We don't know what happened to it. Something was wrong with the motor. It wasn't working right. And so one of the nights that I wasn't filming, we ended up taking the new table saw back to Lowe's and exchanged it for another new table saw. So that is the third table saw that was now in the garage and Christian had to assemble this one because it came in a box.
Now, as far as satisfying cleaning and organizing, if you guys stuck around to the very end of the video right now, you are watching the most rewarding part. This day was all focused on cleaning, organizing, and making the room actually look put together and organized. I think I said organize like 15 times in that sentence. But starting with this little toolbox, I was pulling out things that didn't belong in there, trash, things we no longer needed, and then finding spots for them all to go on either the wall or underneath the bench or over on the stack of drawers to the left in that little cubby corner. I also was making my way down the workbench, clearing up that space, and making sure anything left out was going back to where it belonged. I'd also like to take this time to thank my parents for buying Christian the best Christmas gift this year. This shop vac was a gift from them, and honestly, my entire house would be covered in sawdust if it was not for this vacuum. It helps control all of the dust, and it also connects to a bunch of his tools as like a dust collection system. So as he's cutting anything, the shop vac is also plugged into something that collects all of the sawdust running around. So this vacuum saves our life in here, and it also keeps our gym relatively sawdust free. We're in the home stretch right now, guys. The last thing I wanted to do was start sweeping up the floor, cleaning up as much dust as possible to make this space nice and clean for all of the after shots. And you'll also see in a little bit that Christian opened the garage door because he was coming home from work early this day. And then he hopped in and started helping me with this process. Now the garage is the first of many rooms in our house that we are doing a complete makeover of and I love to give little sneak peeks on my Instagram of the progress we're making. So if you are not already following my Instagram, I'll pop it on the screen here. Go follow along if you guys want to see some behind the scenes and sneak peeks of future projects coming. All right guys, Christian came home and helped me do the final touches on the garage and I can officially close the chapter on organizing the garage. Well, not fully, there's always gonna be little things we can do to improve it, but let's start with some of the before shots. Now here is what the garage looks like.
So coming in from the door to the house, I'm gonna go over the whole space really quickly. Obviously this is Christian's work zone, but besides the wall organization, he has another shelf down here with some things going on. These are kind of ongoing projects he has in the background. And then right next to all of the scrap wood and extra wood in the table saw, we come into the workout zone. And then Christian's favorite thing probably about this space besides all of his saws is this TV he found as a steal on Facebook Marketplace. So we hung this up and then we have the door to the house, a cute little doormat that used to be our front doormat from the place in Virginia. And then the last space is kind of this hodgepodge, which looks very cluttered, but it finally has rhyme and reason to it, which it previously did not. I bought from Amazon these hooks. It might be hard to see, but it's just like a little hook, like a black neoprene coated hook that screws into the studs on the walls. I found a pack of eight of them from Amazon for like, $13, $14, and uh, yes, this tire is very, very flat. But that is a wrap on this garage organization project. Thank you guys so much for sticking through this discombobulated video. Make sure you are subscribed and have the notification bells turned on, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.